Presentation. I have everything ready to show the. Hello. Today I'm going to be demonstrating how to make gorditas. Not just any gorditas. I'm going to show you how I make green gorditas made out of poblano paste. And I'm also going to be showing you how to make red gorditas, which is a uh, ancho uh, seasoning. Uh, first of all, I'm going to start off by making the masa, okay? And uh, I use this product here, maseca, okay? It's ground uh, corn flour. I'm going to be adding about, just the way the recipe calls for, uh, one cup and one fourth cup of water. And in here, I have already put in one fourth teaspoon of baking powder. And I have put in one fourth teaspoon of salt. And now what uh, I'm also going to do is, you can use lard, but I'm going to use um, olive oil. And I'm going to use, to so two cups, I'm going to use two tablespoons. And this just softens up the masa. Okay? It's a little healthier. Then the lard. I'm just going to use my hand and I'm just going to mix the masa. If it's a little dry, then add a little bit more water. If it's a little uh, runny, add a little bit more maseca. And so you just knead this together and this is the base of your gordita. Okay, first of all, what I'm going to do. I've separated the masa, okay, and into two parts. And the first part I'm going to demonstrate is the green poblano peppers, okay. Uh, this is the way you buy them in the store. And what I have done is I have charred this on the stove, and uh, I have taken off all the the seeds and uh, cleaned it up. And this is what I get. I get a green, uh, clean pepper, and it's been seeded, and I've taken the skin off of it. What I have done next is I have pureed it, okay? I have pureed it, pureed it in a blender. In the olden days, they used to use a molcajete, okay? And this is a volcanic, volcanic uh, grinder, and it's just a mortar, okay? and they just grind everything in this, okay? Today, we use a blender. Okay, and this I have already done beforehand, and I'm just gonna get about a spoonful of this, and this is just poblano pepper puree, okay? And you just add this to your masa, okay? And you just blend it. I find that instead of using a spoon, I think I do a lot better with my clean hands. And basically I just, I'm just going to knead this together and make my masa green and incorporate the masa with the peppers. Okay? So the green masa has already been made, okay, and it's nice and soft. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to show you how, um, to use, make red gorditas, okay? This is a chile ancho, okay? This is the dried part of uh, a poblano pepper, when it's dried, okay? And what you can do is just seed it, open it up and seed it and moisten it in water and then you puree it, okay? But what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna use this product here, it's chili powder. This is our little secret today. What I'm going to do to our masa, I have just plain masa, okay? I'm going to use about a teaspoon of 
red chili powder, okay? And this is pretty much just, you, you eyeball it, okay? I'm going to use maybe two teaspoons or so, okay? Can't feel them, okay, there we go. And I'm going to knead it again with my hand and see if it's this consistency that I like, okay? And this is chili, red chilies, all um, blended up. You can buy this in the store. I personally like Gebhardt. I like their spices. I like their certain consistency that they have. And so when you knead this up, you 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 get a red chili. Kind of, it's kind of like a little bit red color. Not only does it give it a red color, it gives it a, a, a good little flavor. Okay? So now what I'm going to do is just mix this up, and we're going to be making gorditas next. Okay, right now what I'm doing is I'm getting the peppers, the poblano peppers, preparing the filling. And basically I'm just getting a clean poblano pepper and I'm just shredding it because I'm going to be filling my gordita here pretty soon with them, with cheese. Uh, I'm also going to be using, uh, I refried some beans, okay? So I'll be filling the gorditas with some beans and I have uh, Oaxaca cheese. Okay, this is basically a string cheese, and it uh, melts very nicely with poblano pepper. 